In this talk, I introduce memory harvesting in multi GPU systems with a new data path, hierarchical unified virtual memory. This work is done with collaboration with several institutes. With increasing demand for GPUs, many organizations allow users to share multi GPU cluster servers. For instance, employees in a company share multi GPU servers to reduce the cost of infrastructure. In the shared multi GPU server, workloads such as machine learning, graph analytics, or big data analytics are consolidated in a single server to re improve resource utilization. However, in such shared multi GPU environment, memory space across GPUs is not fully utilized. We observe that a small amount of memory space across GPUs remains idle. The figure in the left is a topology of AWS multi-GPU instance, which hosts multiple memory-intensive workloads. Page rank running on GPU 0 oversubscribes GPU memory and uses host memory as a swap device. The memory consumption of graph analytics depends on the input graph size, so it highly tends to oversubscribe GPU memory with large input graph size. On the other hand, other workloads leave a small amount of memory on GPU 1, 2, and 3. We profile several scenarios running graph analytics and DNN training jobs using one or multiple GPUs. Because each workload has highly varying deep memory demands, some GPU memory is oversubscribed, but is, some is not fully utilized, which causes memory imbalance across workloads. Not only in our profiling scenarios, study from Microsoft reports that memory utilization is about 75% in shared multi-GPU clusters, showing that memory space across GPUs is not efficiently utilized. Let's look further what happens when GPU memory is oversubscribed. The Unified Virtual Memory, UVM, introduced by NVIDIA and AMD, enables large memory applications to oversubscribe the limited GPU memory in driver level. It transparently manages unified address space across the GPU and host memory. When GPU memory is full, the UVM driver swaps out the GPU memory to host memory, providing transparent oversubscription. However, the cost, of, cost for memory oversubscription is high. With 40% oversubscription, a single workload can take 2 to 64 times longer to complete than without oversubscription. Our approach to reduce the performance degradation of overcommit is to harvest neighbor GPU's memory. As memory space across GPU is not fully utilized, it can spill some fraction of oversubscribed memory to neighbor GPUs instead of using the host memory as a Swap device. So, how can you efficiently access neighbor GPU's memory? Modern GPU servers provide NVLink as a fast inner connect to facilitate our memory harvesting technique. NVLink is a high speed interconnect supporting GPU to GPU communication to transmit data without using the expensive PCIe interconnect. The figure in the left is a topology of AW instance. Each GPU is connected with the host with PCIe, and GPUs are connected with each other with NVLink to support direct communication. In this AWS instance, the bandwidth of PCIe is 16 gigabytes per second, and the bandwidth of NVLink is 50 gigabytes per second, which is three times higher than PCIe. Also, we measured the actual throughput and latency. As expected, NVLink is about three times better than PCIe on both throughput and latency, which gives us an attractive opportunity to build a new data path with NVLink. This is a simplified figure which consists of two GPU memory and host memory. Memory of GPU 0 and GPU 1 are connected with NVLink and each other, each of them is connected with PCIe with the host memory. Let's assume that application running on GPU 0 is oversubscribed and on GPU 1 is underutilized, leaving spare memory. 
UVM supports application to use host memory as a swap device by fetching and evicting pages through PCIe. Hierarchical Unified Virtual Memory, which we, we will call HUVM, builds a new data path with MVLink to harvest the spare memory of neighbor GPU. When spare memory is identified in GPU-1, we can leverage the spare memory of GPU-1 as a victim cache between GPU-0 and the host. We can evict pages to the victim cache through MVLink. Also, since the spare memory of GPU-1 acts as a victim cache, we can fetch pages from GPU-1 to GPU-0 with MVLink when the pages exist on it. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, I'm Sang Jin Choi, co-first author of this work. I will take it on from here. <clears throat> there are several goals in HUVM to reduce the performance cost of memory oversubscription. First, effective harvesting. We need to harvest small and temporarily available spare memory of neighbor GPUs, reduce the eviction and fetch latency with spare memory. Second, we need to minimize the performance impact of workloads running in the neighbor GPUs. Finally, HUVM needs to be framework agnostic. Since there may be different frameworks running in the harvesting GPUs and the yielding GPUs, there should be no modification of applications or frameworks. To achieve these goals in HUVM, we propose MemHarvester, a memory manager for HUVM. MemHarvester is a centralized coordinator for data paths in HUVM, leveraging both PCIe and MVLink. I will now explain how MemHarvester achieved these goals in the following order. MemHarvester hides the eviction latency with pre-eviction for effective harvesting. On-demand eviction increases the page fault latency. Thus, it is important to reduce the on-demand eviction to hide the eviction latency. MemHarvester reserves a certain amount of free memory and pre evicts pages to harvested memory using the abundant NVLink bandwidth. The pre eviction scheme is implemented in the driver level, making the technique framework agnostic and does not need any application modifications. Once the eviction is completed to the harvested memory, we make a copy of the evicted page to the host memory to minimize interference. Let's see why we make the copy. When the application running on the neighbor GPU increases memory allocation, we should instantly reclaim the harvested memory to the neighbor GPU with negligible overhead to minimize interference. Thus, we make a copy of the evicted pages in harvested memory to host memory in a background writeback thread. When the writeback is completed, the page is marked removable and can be returned to the neighbor GPU without any additional overhead. To minimize the interference, it is crucial to quickly make the pages removable. To increase the write-back throughput, MemHarvester allocates large pages in host memory and performs a single operation for populating large pages. This is the workflow of eviction paths coordinated by MemHarvester. The application running on GPU0 will now access page A, B, and C. Page fault occurs and page A, B, C are migrated to GPU0 memory. However, because the reserved memory space is full, page X is pre-evicted to the harvested memory of GPU1. At the same time, the write-back thread copies page X to host memory and marks the page removable for instant reclaim. We have now seen MemHarvester's eviction scheme, and from now on, we will see how MemHarvester handles fetch. MemHarvester reduces the fetch latency with parallel fetch by leveraging the new data paths consisting with both PCIe and MVLink. GPU applications are highly parallel, so page fault occurs in a batch. The driver should handle all page fault requests in a batch to resume application. MemHarvester parallelizes handling multiple page faults in the same batch. By leveraging the new data paths with each PCI lanes attached to individual GPUs and MVLink. Let's see how MemHarvester parallelizes handling page faults in detail. This is the workflow of parallel fetch 
coordinated by MemHarvester. Page fault occurs, and page A, B, C, D in the same fault batch needs to be migrated to GPU0 to resume application. Page A is migrated to GPU0, and in the same time, page D is migrated to GPU1, both using individual PCI lanes. Page B is migrated to GPU0, and in the same time, page C is migrated to GPU1. Finally, page C and D is migrated to GPU0 with MVLink. All page faults are handled, and the application resumes. Now let's see how MemHarvester hides fetch latency with prefetching. MemHarvester prefetches with multi-pass prefetching, leveraging the new data paths consisting with both PCIe and MVLink to exploit parallelism. Pages in the harvested neighbor GPU memory are prefetched to local GPU memory via NVLink. Pages in the host memory are prefetched to the harvested neighbor GPU memory via PCIe. There are two main advantages for prefetching pages to spare memory instead of local GPU memory. First, prefetching to the harvested memory can reduce the total number of page faults by proactively fetching pages using both PCIe and MVLink. And secondly, the page fault latency of future pages is reduced by placing the pages highly likely to be accessed on the victim cache. However, as the number of active harvesters increases, the PCI lane attached to the neighbor GPU can be congested. Then it slows down supplying pages to the spare memory due to the limited PCIe bandwidth. To reduce the PCI contention in such cases, MemHarvester changes the path. For pages in host memory, MemHarvester directly prefetches those pages to local GPU memory. This is the workflow of multi-path prefetch coordinated by MemHarvester. First, let's look at the default path. Page E, F, and G needs to be prefetched for hiding future latency. Page G, which is located on the harvested GPU1 memory, is prefetched to GPU0, and at the same time, exploiting the path diversity, page E and F and is prefetched from host memory to harvested GPU1 memory. However, when the number of active harvesters increases, to reduce the PCI contention, page E and F is directly prefetched from host memory to GPU0. Let's have some time to recap. We proposed HUVM, a new data path with NVLink to reduce the performance cost of memory oversubscription. There are several goals for HUVM, effective harvesting, minimal interference, and framework agnostic. To achieve these goals, we proposed a memory manager for HUVM called MemHarvester. MemHarvester is a centralized coordinator for data paths in HUVM and supports several techniques pre-eviction, parallel fetch, and multi-pass prefetch for effective harvesting, removable pages for minimal interference, and leverages UVM to become framework agnostic. We leave minimizing interference due to sharing memory and PCI bandwidth for our future work. Now on to our evaluation. All experiments are done in AWS instance. The system has four GPUs connected with NVLink. The graph analytics benchmarks are implemented with QGraph, and the DNN training workloads are implemented with PyTorch. First, we will look at three scenarios in the shared multi-GPU server. The table in the left shows the scenarios. There are three cases, case A, B, and C. And each case is consisted of a mixture of graph analytics workloads and DNN training workloads. The workloads with box colored in yellow is a harvester which oversubscribes the memory and harvests other neighbor GPUs' memory. The graph in the right shows the memory consumption of each workload. Note that in case A, one harvester harvests three neighbor GPUs' memory. For case B, two harvests two. For case three, three harvests one. Let's first look at case A. The figure on the left shows how each workloads are placed in the multi-GPU server. GPU0 runs PageRank, which is oversubscribing memory, and tries to harvest the spare memory of other three GPUs. The figure on the right shows the execution time speedup of MemHarvester. The y-axis 
means execution time speed up compared to baseline and ratio. So higher is better. For comparison, we use baseline as the stock NVIDIA UVM driver and pre-EF host, which is the prefetch and pre-eviction scheme to host memory, which is the overall prior technique. PageRank running on GPU zero is harvesting three neighbor GPU spare memory and has 3.5 times better performance compared to baseline and 1.3 times better performance compared to pre-EF host. Also, there is negligible performance interference in workloads running on the neighbor GPUs. For case B, BFS is running on GPU zero and GPU one, oversubscribing memory. On the other hand, GPU two and three is leaving spare memory. BFS, which is running on two GPUs, harvests two, G two neighbor GPUs spare memory. BFS shows significant performance improvement in mem harvester compared to both baseline and pre-EFOs. There is some performance interference in the neighbor GPUs. MobileNet, which is running on GPU2, shows 7% of performance interference, and ResNet shows 9% of performance interference compared to baseline. For KC, WCC is running on GPU0, and LowVane is running on GPU1 and 2, oversubscribing memory. On the other hand, GPU3 is leaving spare memory. WCC and LowVane is running on three GPUs and harvests one neighbor GPU's spare memory. WCC and low vein shows performance improvement in mem harvester compared to baseline and pre-EFOs. There is some performance interference in the neighbor GPU. Now we will break down individual techniques consisting mem harvester and show how each technique contributed to the overall performance improvement. We will break down each technique for BFS in case B. From left to right, a single technique is added to show how that technique contributed to the overall performance improvement. For just using the naive data path HUVM, we can see 1.8 times performance improvement. If we add additional schemes one by one, we see that the performance increases. Pre-eviction reduces the number of on-demand evictions. Large page writeback for making removable pages faster. Parallel fetch to reduce the fetch latency. Finally, if we add the multi-pass prefetching to hide fetch latency, which now uses all of our mem harvester techniques, we see an overall 3.5 times performance improvement. Not only for case B, for all of our cases, we see that each technique has contributed to the overall performance improvement. So how much memory should we harvest from the neighbor GPU to benefit from our new data pass? To find out, we perform the sensitivity study by varying the size of spare memory. For simplicity, we just use two GPUs for this sensitivity study. One GPU is running WCC, which is oversubscribing 94% of more memory. And we vary the size of spare memory in GPU1 with CUDA ballo by varying the size from 5% to 60%. With 5% of spare memory, we see an overall 3.6 times performance improvement compared to baseline. As we increase the size of spare memory in neighbor GPUs, we see that the overall performance increases. We confirmed that just with only 5% of harvesting spare memory of neighbor GPUs, we can significantly improve the performance. This is our conclusion. There exists resource imbalance in shared multi-GPU server, and there is significant performance overhead for memory oversubscription. To solve this problem, we spill fraction of oversubscription to neighbor GPUs and build a new data path with NVLink. Also, we proposed a new memory manager for HUVM. We improved performance compared to baseline over three times with a small fraction of spare memory, but less performance inter improved interference. Thank you for listening to our talk. If you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.